Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It is raining. It is a fancy, rainy day. Starting the vlog off late, but Sam's got the hay ready to go, and somebody's been coming the last few days to pick up the poop. So we're like really getting down in the poop department. Come on now. Oh, I love the barn. I love it in here. Sam went out. I can take this off now. Sam went out this morning to do chores. I was doing the goats and he's doing the... Oh, it's cold in here. Sam was doing the horses, I was doing the goats and he came to tell me that there's been a catastrophe on the farm. And the catastrophe is this. So Sophie's really been loving riding lady and she pulled a shoe and then she pulled a piece of her foot off with it. Do you guys see it there? So I'm going to have the farrier come this week. I'm going to message her in the morning and have her check and put it back on and see if we need to do anything. I'm going to go take a look at her. I'm actually not going to go take a look at her because it's pouring rain. <laughs> so I'm just going to go out here and kind of glance at her. Come on, Elf. I love being in the barn though. Like when it's bad weather, like there's no bad barns. But look at this. Literally, they pooped so much. Um, okay, that's a problem. What the heck are you doing over there? So that's how Lady pulled her shoe. She managed to get where she's not allowed to go. I assume she's over there still. I don't know why you guys are standing in the rain when you could be in the barn nice and dry. Oh my gosh. I'm going to feed them in here and, and we're going to have to rescue Storm and Lady and Honey. For Pete's sake. <laughs> ah. That's so annoying. So we fenced that area off, Sam did. And, but there's grass behind there. There's grass. And you guys know what that means. Ah. Where there's grass, the horses want to go. Ah. So we're gonna have to go and get them out of there. I don't know how they got in. I don't know if they can get out. But I am gonna put Lady's shoe right here. Don't let me forget. Let me go and find Sam. Sam is still sick. His foot is swollen. So he can't walk very far and he has a cold. So he can't breathe very good. No, he can't breathe. Oh, he can breathe. <laughs> but you know, man cold and all that kind of stuff. He's already had a nap today. Already been laying around doing nothing, which is fine. Today we've had a really amazing laid back Sunday. Now you're probably all muddy. Why did I bring you out? What? Do you know where the horses are? Yeah. Can they get out of there? Yeah. Should we check on them? No, I already checked them. Storm's down there now. Oh, they're all down there. Oh, they're all down there? Oh. Yeah. Stop. No. Ah. You guys are grounded from one another. Ah. No. Grounded. Anyway, today is the day that we are going to start giving the chickens. Can I break one open? Can I break one open, please? please yeah, please, sure. Please. Take one. Oh, my gosh. Not in here. On the grass, not in the mud. Oh, that's perfect. Oh no, I need the bottom half. Don't worry, I got you. <gasps> Watch the dogs. Go. Oh. Yeah, that worked. I know. Throw the pieces of it in a. In a. Can I break another one? Yeah, because it's gonna t be a while if I'm trying to cut them. I love this. this is so oh fun. my gosh, my dog is covered in mud. Uh oh. That's good? Yep, here, put it in a bucket. Put it in this bucket. Gabby, you want to break a squash? Um, Get all your frustrations out? I'll break another one. <laughs> oh, that is nice. <laughs> I brought a knife. <laughs> Sunny? Yeah, it's got to have a bottom. Yeah. All right. All right, who thinks Gabby can do it? Coming back at me like Who thinks Gabby can do it in one? Wait, don't do it in front of the Sophie or the dogs. Can you do it in one? Come on. It's literally raining on me inside the barn. Yeah, go. I'm scared. Oh, come on. You got it. No, Kirby, come. I'll do it. 
No, let her do it, Gabby. Just do it. Just toss it. Toss it. One, two, three. Come on, you got it. You got it. You got it. Let's go. Go. Wow. She got it in one. I don't know. She had a small one though. But she did it. Good job. Put it in a here. Can I do this one? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't do it. So how do you have to, we need the bottom part. That's the part that the, oh, okay, it's cracked. <laughs> Yay. Hello, Stormy. Do you know how I can tell Storm from Lady when they're not together? They're completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby says they're completely different that? horse and a different size. No, I look at their face. Yeah, their face markings. And Stormy has the face of Australia on him. The map of Australia. Yeah. It's cold and wet. I know. You're going to go to bed tonight. <laughs> yeah, he's like, see? Completely different. <laughs> but if one brown horse comes in the barn, like I lots of times glance up and I'm like, who's that horse? Storm, let her be with us. Well, he didn't even do anything. Like uh, well, he has done something to make them know to move their feet. He's the boss. He's mean. I know. <laughs> he didn't do anything that time. No, he didn't do anything that time, but he did tell her to move. Hi, honey. Yeah, it's so Hi. awful out. All right. You're going to go with dad. She's going to go with dad and put some hay in the... Can you just not be outside then? In the, yeah, we're not going to stay out for very long today. She's going to go with dad and put the hay away. We're going to give the chickens some squash and some fresh water. And we're actually going to go and check on Posey. Uh... I already saw her this morning. I've checked on her a few times today and I'm gonna show you guys how she's doing. So we're gonna go down and I'll show you guys Posey and then we're gonna end this because we're frozen. Everybody's in there in the barn except for you. Why are you out here, Piggy? Oh. We did so much work to make sure that you could go inside if it's cold or wet and instead you're outside. Come on, follow me. You know it's cold when they hardly drink their water. We were told not to feed Posey for 12 to 24 hours, depending on how she's doing. So I fed her this morning after 12 hours. Posey, come on Posey, she's over there. She's right, <laughs> I let her in and I wasn't ready yet and she just started running. Posey. <laughs> come on Piggy Piggy. <laughs> As you guys can see, she's doing great. Come on! The goats just brushed right past me and jumped in the barn. All of them? No, just this one. So I still am having her on like a modified diet. I'm just giving her a little bit at breakfast and a little bit at dinner because she's still really gassy. She's still a little bit gassy so I still have her on like just a little bit of food. I don't want to overdo her system. Tomorrow I'll feed her a normal amount. Sorry Pose. That's what happens when you Ellie. Ellie. eat goat food. But luckily everything turned out okay. We got little baby Fi in there. You know, I can hardly remember everybody's name. We have that many pets. I can remember everyone's name pretty good. Pretty good? All right, let these babies in. I love the color of this barn. Like this light wood, it's just, it just makes my heart happy. Uh, Ellie, I'd get out of that stall because that is not your stall and that's the mean girls coming. Uh oh. It's a showdown. She knows where she's supposed to go. Good girl. At this point, whoa. <laughs> At this point, it's like a crapshoot who gets which stall. Sometimes like she never comes in first, so she always gets. Yeah, but I feel like she. I feel like this is the coveted stall. I feel like everybody likes this stall the best. This is the one. This is the one that everybody likes. I don't know why. Because it gets the most light. It has the better thing. I don't think girls care about that. I just don't know why, but I just don't think they do. I know this is a short video, but it's Sunday, and I don't know why I complain about winter and we have to stay inside all the time. It was glorious. Like I cleaned my computer room. I cleaned. The living room, I cleaned the kitchen, I cleaned Sophie's closet, even though I know she can do it herself, but I wanted to like do a good job of it. And I got rid of a bunch of junk, and then we made yummy french fries, homemade french fries for dinner. It was my idea, and they were so good. Um, it just felt glorious. We watched movies. What? It 
It was your idea, but Dad cooked. No, I cooked half of them, and then Dad came in, he cooked half of them, because I had other stuff I had to do. If I cook dinner, Dad relaxes. If Dad cooks dinner, I still do other things. If you cook dinner, Dad <laughs> helps you. If Dad cooks dinner, you sit there. <laughs> no! I'm busy. I'm a busy beaver, Sylvie. Oh, my. Oh, kids are weird. Anyway, we're going to go feed the chickens. Oh, and I have a little bit of footage that I saved from yesterday because I, I, the vlog was so long. I just want to clean up this stuff. The vlog was so long yesterday that I just um, ended it. And then there was some stuff. I don't even remember what it was. But I left some footage from yesterday's video. So I'm going to put this, put that at the end of this vlog so it's not so super short. But thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow is... Rem is um, Remembrance Day and then like the next week we're gonna start with the Christmas decorations and the Christmas stuff so Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow So Sophie says that lady loves her best. That's not lady. Lady so, does like me best. Yeah, that's true Sophie says that honey loves her best, which is probably true. All right Honey, honey, honey Come here, honey Come on. She doesn't like any of us. She wants honey. I don't think she knows her name Gracie Come here, come here, honey. Come here, honey. Come here, come here honey. Come here. You traitor. I'm the one that spends so much time with you. What the heck were you in? I suspect that's somebody's mouth around your neck. <laughs> come here, Gracie girl. That's me best too. I love so I, Gracie. I spend I a lot of time with Gracie. My time and my day. Do you know what? I'm the only one that makes sure that Gracie gets a treat. And no, I'm, I give her treats all the time. And I make sure Willow gets a treat. I give Willow treats all the time. <laughs> I give my horses treats. Okay, well, when I'm here by Willow's myself. Okay, but when I'm here by myself and they don't come up to the fence, I always make a habit of going into the field and making sure that they get a treat because. Well, womp womp. They like me. My horses <laughs> like me better. Oh my goodness. She just wants you because you're talking about <laughs> treats. You're such a cute baby. I wanted to show you guys something with the chickens so you guys know i integrated like babies in with the bigger chickens and that can be such a hard thing because the big ones are mean but look at what happens every time i come out to the bot out to the so when i came out here and they were in that corner i throw food over there for them but every time i come out these little babies run to me because they know that i'll save them from the bigger chickens but they're all doing good and they're all getting gaining weight here, I'm gonna fill this up. Go ahead, eat it. Yeah, they're so scared. Oh, look at this, must be a rooster. It's like, oh, I will, now that she's here. <laughs> anyway, I have to come out three times a day, make sure everybody gets water. Oh, now you guys are afraid. Oh, it's because of that thing. So this is what I do. Every time they come walking towards the, this is pumpkin. Every time they come walking towards where the babies are, I put my hand up and I don't let them come over here so then they come but it's funny how animals know like they know that I'll keep them safe and so they come to me we've had over the years we've had so many times when like wild animals have come to us and asked us for help because animals know even though they're when they're scared they still know yeah whoops that's a rooster for sure yeah so cute but look how big these guys are. As soon as Sophie comes back, I'll get her to stand here while I fill up their, their, ah, don't try and get out. Anyway, it's the cutest, saddest thing. But one thing I love about this pen is that these guys all sit on this roost, usually the guineas, and then these guys can see each other. So um, when it's time to put them all in with all the other chickens, they'll have like a group of chickens that they're used to. Get away. You let these little babies eat. It's okay, you're cute. I don't know which one's my favorite. Sophie's gonna get all their waters. Isn't that crazy though, how they just all come running up as soon as I come to the door. They all come running so that they can eat and drink and they know that I'll save them if the bigger ones are mean to them. I'm super thankful that I had these chickens though because these chickens in here are, are a mom and two babies and they're not very big, they're small. So it was like the best situation to integrate them. And we have six more babies in the house and I don't know where I'm gonna put them. Look, that mean one is being nice and she's eating with them. Must be a rooster. Don't you pick peck them.
Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way